Hey guys and welcome back to World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel. Today we're gonna do another playthrough video and it's gonna be uh, the 8 Air Force. Uh, a long anticipated game for me to share with you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna start by uh, telling you how to do the setup. I'm gonna give you a short introduction to the game, how it works, uh, our uh, goals of the game and how we lose. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start playing. So if you already know the rules, you can go ahead and skip a few minutes on into the video. Otherwise, uh, let's start with the setup. So the first thing you're going to do is take your victory point counters and you're going to put the 0, zero on the zero, 0, and the victory point 0 on the 0 track. Then you're going to go ahead and take your turn counter and put it on January 1943. We have our calendar here. You can't see it properly, but I am going to give you a zoomed in picture of this. Uh, once we get uh, started on playing. Uh, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and put out your active bombing campaigns. Uh, we are currently, which we can see here in the campaigns in our calendar, that we're currently on a submarine base campaign. And we take all of our submarine bases counters and put them out. And we have Brest and then we have Saint Nasir. So those are our current uh, campaign goals and we're gonna go ahead and talk more about that when I tell you about uh, our goals of the game. Once you've done that you're gonna place out all your heavy targets because your heavy targets are always gonna be active. They're gonna be active throughout the whole game. So what are heavy targets? We have heavy industry, we have oil uh, facilities and aircraft factories. I'm gonna go ahead and show you these counters so you get a better look. And we have here heavy industry, we have a oil factory and an aircraft factory. Uh, these all uh, will affect the game and how they affect the game, again, I'm going to get into that later. Now we're just doing the setup. So you're going to go ahead and put all of those out. Uh, so basically you put out all of the heavy industries and the bombing, sorry, <laughs> focus, and the submarine bases. Don't put out the railroads, crossings, um, uh, and the bridges, and so on. You're gonna go ahead and wait for that until those bombing campaigns are active. Once that you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and take all of your bomb counters, and those are these little bombs with random numbers. You're gonna put them in a cup. Uh, the rules say that you should put them in a coffee cup, but you can go ahead and use any kind of container or cup. It doesn't have to be a coffee cup. Uh, just kidding there. Okay, uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and place all of your uh, United States Army Air Force forces in front of you. And those are gonna be two B-17 bombers, one uh, B-24 bomber, and one uh, P-38 fighter group. And all of those are gonna have a squadron attached. You can see my forces here. We have my three bomber groups here, and then we have a fighter group. And like it says in the rules, these guys are going to have squadrons attached. So what are squadrons? Well, uh, these counters that you see, the named counters, the B-17 and P-38, for example, those are groups. And then they have squadrons attached, and they will look like this. Uh, the bomber squadrons have a 1, and the fighter squadrons have a 2. And basically what the squadrons do is they absorb damage uh, when these guys get hit by AA and enemy fighters. But again, we're gonna get uh, uh, on with the rules later on about stuff like that. Now I'm just doing the setup. Okay, so when you have placed out your uh, forces in front of you, it's time to set up the Luftwaffe forces. So the Luftwaffe forces uh, I have over here. And you can find on the calendar which forces those are gonna be. There are going to be three Fucking Wolf uh, 190, uh, three BF 1010s, and uh, one BF 109 school. Uh, and I've set them up right here from strongest on the left side to weakest. The number you see is their air combat factor. So these, these guys, the three Fucking Wolf, uh, are going to be the strongest, and there's three of them. The weakest one with one combat factor is going to be the BF 1010s. Take note that these guys do not have any squadrons attached to them. And they will not. Uh, they will further in the game when you place German or Luftwaffe forces. They are going to have squadrons attached always, but not during the first turn. So now we're going to go ahead and put these guys out. 
and to do that we need to use this chart so we have one nice uh, one-sided page of charts here and we will use the Luftwaffe new group placement we have a, a certain rule during setup and that is that no track can have two uh, Luftwaffe groups before all of them are filled uh, so for example if I get a, a group in free where I already have a group in free you will take that and put in the lowest number track so that would be number one the lowest number empty track so we have two d6 which we get in the game and we will roll those to see for the first group and we roll two free so we can see here now on the Luftwaffe new group placement table two free is gonna be track number two so the first guy goes to track number two and we'll just put him here in the coastline but you can put him wherever you want uh, sorry for that there it is okay so we are gonna go ahead and roll again for the next guy and this time we get five free we look at the Luftwaffe new group placement table again five free and that's gonna be track number five you see that there's a second number and that's uh, something you're gonna use later on in the game if you get late enough in the game that the Germans will start retreating so use the first number so the first number for 5 free is gonna be track number 5 so next guy goes to track number 5 and we roll again and now we get 4 1 so 4 1 is gonna be track number 3 so next guy goes to track number 3 and we go ahead and roll again. One free. One free is gonna be track number one. And you got it. We go ahead and keep rolling until all our uh, guys are placed. We get six free. So let's see, six free. That's gonna be track number seven. And next guys go into four six four six that's gonna be track number four and we have track number four here and we'll go ahead and roll again one four so one four that's gonna be track number one but we already have as you can see here on the map we already have a unit on track number one so it's gonna go on the lowest number empty track and the lowest number empty track is gonna be track number six we can see now that the last empty track is track number eight and of course that counter is gonna go there because even it goes uh, according to the table to one of these tracks they're already occupied so this guy is gonna go here and now we go ahead and keep rolling for the last two units for the last two groups and we roll three six so three six that's gonna be track number three and then last unit whoops goes into one one and we can see here a green one red one is track number one so that takes care of that now we are done with uh, placing out our uh, Luftwaffe forces and now what we're gonna do is roll two dice and do the same with our AA track and you're gonna do that for each uh, and every turn change the AA uh, counter which will give that current track uh, a stronger AA and we roll 3-4 and I can see here that 3 let's see 3-4 that's track number 3 so the AA defenses go to track number three so this is gonna be a track that I want to avoid for this turn I'm happy it doesn't go to track number eight okay so we're finally done now with uh, our Luftwaffe placement and now the game tells you to uh, organize uh, organize all uh, the US and German groups by type and I have done that to the side over here I can show you so here on the side I've organized all of my counters here I have the German uh, fighter, the, fi the Germans only have fighters, they have no, uh, um, no bombers. Uh, here I have my different kind of bomber groups 
and here I have my fight groups, and here I have my different bombing campaign counters. Then I have the so-called dead piles, and those are piles of, um, of squadron counters. So here's, as I told you before, uh, these are for fighters with the two in combat factor. All of them have two in combat factor, all of the fighter squadrons. And here's for my bombers. All of them have a one in combat factor. So these are for my bombers. So again, one is for bombers, two is for fighters. And the same goes for the Germans. All of their fighters also have a two, the squadrons have a two in combat factor, but they are green. So that's a different, my are just a two, a blue two with a white background. Germans are a white two with a green background. Hope that makes sense. And these are the dead piles where killed units and killed, sorry, killed squadrons and killed groups are gonna go. So, so that's how you organize your, um, your counters. And of course you can organize them any way that suits you. Let's go back uh, and uh, have the map as the central of the video. Okay, so uh, when we placed our uh, subs here, we should also take a bombing campaign counter and put it on the calendar for that uh, bombing campaign. So here we have sub bases and we put the bombing campaign on the start. And that, my friends, means that we're done with setup. Setup is done and we can start playing. On the first turn of the game, which is January 1943, every turn is one month and you can go all the way to April 1945. Uh, in the first turn of the game, you will start on phase four out of nine. So there's a total of nine um, phases. The first phase, just to go through them before we start playing, again I'm gonna go into the rules a little bit now and the goal of the game. So if you know the rules already, go ahead and skip to where I start playing. So the turns of the game is, first turn, uh, sorry, the phase of the games. The first phase, Luftwaffe will move their AA. They will reinforce the core area. If there is more than two groups in one of these non-core areas, then there are in this core area. The core area is track number one to three. Uh, then uh, they're gonna go ahead and reinforce with uh, new groups, which we can see here. They're gonna um, have some new, we can see on the calendar here. We're gonna take a closer look at that now. Uh, I'm just gonna have to remove these counters. And the way you see if new groups are gonna come in, we can see here, for example, in February, here we see our active campaigns. So we can see in March, we're gonna get uh, raid roads. This is the number of uh, how many fighters and bombers I will manufacture and refit. So during my second month here, February, I'm gonna get one fighter and two bombers. So one fighter uh, manufactured, one refit that's repaired if they're damaged, two bombers manufactured, two refit. And here we see uh, uh, the, the reinforcements. So for example, the Luftwaffe will get all their squadrons, uh, all their groups will get plus one squadron. And then they are gonna get two of these guys, two uh, whatever this plane is, D520. I'm gonna get one squadron to all of my uh, groups and I'm gonna get a P47 group. And that goes on here. And then you see this, uh, we have something here in, I don't know what you call that in English, but that means this one should get removed. And here I'm gonna lose a P38. So that's how it goes on. Uh, and you can see it changes. I get more planes uh, manufactured. There is more, um, more campaigns and the uh, Luftwaffe will get more planes. <clears throat> so anyway, on phase uh, number one, that's when you're gonna add these new groups uh, for the Luftwaffe. Let me get that back. And then uh, we have the United States Army Air Force groups. So that's when I'm gonna get, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and focus. On the second phase of the game, I'm gonna get uh, my manufactured and refit groups and new groups according to the calendar. Then in phase three out of eight or nine, sorry, three uh, out of nine, we will add and remove bombing campaigns. So for example, 
in March 1943, I'm gonna add the Railroads campaign. And by doing that, <clears throat> I take another bombing campaign marker, take that there, put that there, and then I put out the targets on the map. Then uh, in uh, number four, we have RAF attack, uh, phase four out of nine. You just roll a D6 and you check this chart here, uh, RAF attacks, and basically if it's a five or six, it's good. If it's one to four, it's bad. And then we come uh, to phase number five, which is the core of the game. You uh, start your mission, execute your missions, and that I'm gonna go ahead and save for later on, because you will see how that works when we play. Uh, on six, you will score campaign and victory points. So this is also what I would call the goal of the game. So let's start uh, with how do we win? We win by getting a positive score right now. I have zero points and the Germans have zero points. If I get one point now, I win, but that's not gonna happen because the Germans are gonna rack up a lot of points uh, this early on in the game. So how do we get points? I can get points in two ways, in two ways only. I get one point if every target in Berlin is bombed. That's one heavy industry, one oil factory and one aircraft factory. If all of those are bombed, I get one victory point per turn that all of those are bombed. Then we have the enemy, uh, the German industry, heavy industry, and there is a total of nine of those. And for all of those that are bombed at the end of the turn, uh, I get one more point. So that means I can get a total of 10 points if all of those heavy industry are bombed and all of Berlin is bombed. Then I get 10 victory points. And that's the only way I can achieve victory points. The Germans are similar, but they have a few more uh, ways to earn victory points. First of all, the heavy industry, for all of the unbombed industry, heavy industry, they get one victory point. Again, there's nine of those heavy industry counters. So they can get nine victory points if none of those heavy industries are bombed. Then they also get one victory point if no targets in Berlin are bombed. So say that none of these heavy industry are bombed and Berlin isn't bombed, they get 10 victory points. Then on top of that, the Germans, the Luftwaffe, are gonna get four victory points for all of my groups, which are either in the damage forces staging area or in the dead pile during uh, the end of the turn or during the victory uh, points counting. So you really have to protect your groups. And that was uh, what I was talking about earlier, that you wanna, go, wanna use your squadrons here because uh, if the squadrons take damage or if they are destroyed, that's not gonna happen. The Germans aren't gonna get four victory points. They will only get four victory points if it's your groups. And again, the groups are these counters specify the name of the bomber or the fighter. So anyway, uh, as soon as I get a positive victory point level, I have won. So the way this is gonna work is the Germans have a lot of defenses. I have a small, small group here of bombers and one group of fighters. And in the beginning of the game, the Germans are going to rack up a lot of victory points. And my goal of the game is going to want to stop that and then uh, steadily increase my victory point uh, gain effort. So that before we get, for example, here we have a red number in the calendar, 140 starts in March 44. And that's going to decrease by 10 victory points for every turn. But basically that means, uh, the red number means that in uh, March 1940, uh, sorry, March 1944, if the Germans have 140 victory points or more, I have automatically lost because I'm never going to be able ma ma mathematically to get a positive victory uh, score. Uh, so basically that's the goal of the game. Uh, and then uh, there are more rules, obviously. We are going to go through those as we play. But I'm guessing that you are uh, wondering what about the aircraft factories? What about the oil factories and what about the bombing campaigns? Okay, so those are also important. So I'm gonna explain those before we start playing. So uh, <clears throat> the aircraft factories are annoying because they have six aircraft factories and they have six oil factories. And the aircraft factories for every turn during phase uh, eight, 
Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing for every active aircraft factory they're going to produce one squadron of fighters for every oil factory there's six of those the enemy is going to be able to refit six damaged Luftwaffe squadrons or groups uh, so so that's very dangerous for me so it, that's a cool part of this game that I can't only focus on victory points I have to do some kind of strategy where I'm limiting the manufacturing and uh, refit of the German Luftwaffe or I'm gonna be overwhelmed but I'm gonna have to find a balance so I don't go only for that because then I'm gonna lose by not gaining enough victory points and I'm gonna get some health uh, help from the RAF so the more help I get from them, the more damage I can do to these Germans uh, from the um, manufacturing and refit. And then we have the bombing campaigns. You can see here we have a bunch of bombing campaigns. We have sub bases, railroads, river crossings, landings, V1s and V2s, breakouts and Soviet help. So the way they work is quite simple. <clears throat> so now we have two. Uh, we will take the sub bases as an example. So now we have two unbombed sub bases. So during this turn, for every bombed, uh, at the end of the turn, every bombed uh, campaign, this track, this bombing campaign track is going to move one to the left. For every unbombed uh, bombing campaign, it's going to move one to the right. And if it goes all the way to the right for the sub bases, that's four, I have an automatic defeat. And the same goes for railroads, except railroads will go all the way to 8 until I'm defeated. And that's because there's 6 railroad targets. Uh, so that's another interesting part of the game which adds to the strategy. Because Bombing Command, <laughs> Command is giving me a bunch of uh, missions. And basically I have to do those or I'm going to lose because they're going to fire me from my job. Even though for me... The only thing that's beneficial for me is bombing the heavy industry targets. So the heavy industry, the, uh, the oil factories and the aircraft factories. Those are the only ones I want to bomb. But I'm going to have to bomb the other stuff too. Because my bosses want me to help uh, you know, the, the, um, the army out. They want me to help the, uh, you know, the sailors out by taking out these sub bases and so on. So that adds another layer of strategy. Anyway, once we got that explained, uh, we got stuck here on phase 6 score campaign and victory points, and we have gone through that now. On seven, uh, phase 7, you have Germany retreat, and jets can come into play. But that's not going to happen until October 1944. Uh, sorry, I think it's actually August 1944. So, so we will get through that later on. Uh, at 8 we have the Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing and that's when they're gonna start refitting one for all of their oil factories and one for all of their uh, manufacturing one squadron for all their aircraft factories and then finally we have German bombing repair and that's a horrible uh, last phase of the turn and that's you might wonder why are these numbered the, bomb, uh, the bombs that go off for example here we have a 2 well, that's uh, how they repair. They were all 2d6. And then now that would have been repaired. Because now all the counters with a 1 and a 2 are going to get repaired. So if we had a 2 there and a 5 there bombing counter, the 2 would be repaired. So that's, that's uh, quite horrible. But that's how also we get the game to keep going. Otherwise, we would win too easily. So I think that about does it for the starting rules and the setup. I hope that you uh, have gotten a better understanding of how the game is going to work. And what I'm going to do now is actually I'm just going to uh, start playing. And I'm going to play this until the end. And I hope I won. Because the last playthroughs I've done have been quite horribly. I've lost lost very bad in, uh, in Rattenkrieg. So I'm hoping for a better uh, luck this turn. Okay, so let's start playing. Uh, and like I said, in the first turn, you are going to start on the fourth, uh, fourth phase, which is RAF bombing. We want a 5 or a 6 here. And we get a 1, unfortunately. So that means if we look at our bombing table, 
uh, RAF attacks. Uh, uh, one to four means nothing. If I would have got a five or a six, I could have bombed uh, a heavy industry uh, of my choice. So the RAF, uh, they're still uh, relaxing. So I gotta do the heavy lifting here. Uh, phase five is execute mission. So now I have to choose my groups uh, to bomb here. And I wanna go ahead and bomb. Let's see, I wanna bomb both of these, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and send my B-17. I'm gonna send two of those groups uh, to bomb Saint Nasir. Uh, and I think, no, actually, I think they are gonna go ahead and bomb Brest. And they are gonna be escorted by the P-38s. And then I'm gonna send the B-24s to Saint Nasir. So there are a few things here that I wanna tell you about, guys. And it's about the fighters and the bombers. So uh, first of all, uh, the bombers. The B-17s and the B-24s are heavy bombers indicated by the H. That means they can, all, they can bomb heavy targets. The heavy targets are heavy industry, oil factories and aircraft factories. The ones that don't have the H can only bomb uh, bombing campaigns. So like for example these sub bases. So you want to save these guys for those heavy targets. Then we have our fighter types and we have three different kind of fighters you can tell. Because if you look at the map it's three layers here. The first is coastal. Then it says right here. Then the second one is interior and the last one is deep. The deeper you go the heavier the AA is gonna be and the higher the chance that the Luftwaffe are gonna scramble to intercept you. So if we look I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my non-used uh, fighter uh, counters here. I currently have the P-38 right but for example the P-39 it can only reach uh, the coastal area. It can go to the interior. The P-38 can go to the interior, but it can't go deep. Oh, this can't either. Uh, that's a bad example. But the P-51s, which you will get later into the game, can go deep. And they can escort your bombers all the way to the heart of the Reich. But we currently only have the P-38, so we can only send escorts uh, on the way here to the interior. You can send uh, bombers without escorts but that is obviously gonna be a dangerous uh, mission for them. Okay so we're gonna go ahead and execute the mission now and we start with the mission with the B-17s to Brest. One thing to note here uh, attacking Brest you can see I have several bombing groups and that's okay. The only thing you have to rem uh, remember is that you can't mix bomber types. So for example the B-24 could not uh, accompany my B-17 uh, to bomb the west. Uh, let's see what I want to do. Okay, I am going to go ahead and I think I'm going to save the B-24. I don't want to send him unescorted in case uh, he runs into trouble because early on in the game you have to be quite careful. But I am going to go ahead and attack Brest with my two B-17s and my P-38s escorting. So the thing I want to find out now is if the, uh, this guy uh, goes ahead and scrambles. And actually I'm sorry, I got, <laughs> sorry guys but this is the way with this game. I changed my mind again. Maybe this area will get reinforced. So I am going to go ahead this time and use my B-24 attack and the serum. So let's see uh, with the first mission if this guy scrambles or not. So the first area is a coastal area and we can see here in our Luftwaffe group scramble that in a coastal on a roll of 1 to 2 none of them are going to scramble, on a roll of 3 to 4 half of them, on a roll of 5 to 6 all of them. And this is going to intensify the deeper I go into the Reich. So interior is uh, getting worse but in deep it's really bad. So let's start by rolling to see if our Luftwaffe scrambles. And we roll a 2. 
So that's bad for me because I was hoping to get this guy up in the air so my guys could uh, attack him, but that's not going to happen. So there's not going to be a f any kind of fight or combat. So it's just going to be the bombing. And the bombing is going to be AA against my bombers. So my P-38s, they basically, they go back home. And now my bombers is going to bomb Brest. So first we take the AA value of the area. The AA value of the area is 1. And then the AA value of the target is 1. So the total AA value is 2. And that's the combat, let's see, the combat factor we're going to use. So uh, you can see it goes from 1 to 4 to 7 and so on. And it has to go all the way up to be this row. So now we're going to use the first row and we will only get something damaged on a roll of 5 to 6. But I'm going to show you how this works. So we take both our dice, uh, the red and the blue, and we roll, uh, let's see, a red 1 and a green 3. So the red 1 means zero, uh, 0 planes have been damaged or destroyed. And then we also check the green. And the green is going to, if someone is actually damaged, you can see the uh, how many damage here. So for example, if we would have rolled a uh, red 5, that means one unit destroyed or uh, damaged. And then we go into this uh, table, damage destroy. And the green decides how many are destroyed, how many are damaged. So on a roll of 1 to 4, 1 would have been damaged. But on a roll of 5 to 6, 1 would have been destroyed. And we're going to keep repeating, looking at this table until you get it. And then I'm just going to uh, keep playing uh, as you understand how that works better. But anyway, we have successfully managed to bomb uh, Brest. So now we will take a random bombing counter and put on that. And it's number two. So successfully bomb. And these guys return back. Satisfied with having bombed the target. Now we have the next mission, which is San Nasir. This is a interior mission, so the uh, scramble is going to be more likely. So we're going to roll a d6 to see if these guys scramble. And they roll 6. So if we go to a Luftwaffe uh, group scramble, interior, on a roll of 6, all of them are going to scramble. There's just one of them, so that was uh, expected. So now we're going to have some combat against these bombers. And the way that works is, uh, first of all, we take the combat factor of the area, which is 3. The combat factor of uh, the mission, which is 1. So that's 4. And then the combat factor of uh, the fighter, which is 1. So we're up to 5 now. And we're going to go ahead and roll to see if they do some damage to my guys. So they roll a 1-6. So that's pretty good for me. We can see here... Um, the combat factor is 5, so it's this column, 4 to 7. Red 1 means 0 planes have been damaged or destroyed. However, this time, since we have a fighter, we actually get to fight back. And the way we calculate our combat factor is to take the combat factor from the group and then the combat factor from the squadron. So 3 plus 1. So we have a combat factor of 4. And we rolled 2d6. And we're all 3 4, so I don't think that's going to be any better. We can see here a red die, uh, 3 is going to be 0. So we did not do any combat, uh, we didn't do any damage to those fighters. But we have successfully completed the mission, and we get a bomb encounter number 4. So I gotta say, I, I think that's a pretty good start. Would have been cool to take this guy out, but at least we completed our mission. So that's the end of phase five. Now we go to six, score campaign and victory points. So let's start with the campaign. We move our campaign uh, tracker two times to the left for these two areas that are bombed and no times to the right because all of them, there's no unbombed campaign uh, missions. And then we go to victory points. Okay, so the Germans have nine unbombed uh, heavy industry and then all of Berlin is unbombed so it's simple that's 10 victory points so we move down our victory point marker there's no damaged or destroyed units uh, groups in this or the dead pile so they get no victory points for that so just four so quite simple we skip phase seven until uh, August 1944 
And then we come to phase eight, which is Luftwaffe, refit and manufacturing. So the, again, uh, they refit one unit for every oil uh, factory, but there's no damaged units here. So there's not going to be any refit. However, they produce six from every aircraft factory. So that's going to give them six squadrons. So these are taken uh, from the dead pile. If the dead pile is empty, it's taken from the damage forces staging area. So again, we have six unbombed aircraft factories. We get six refits. So six refits is going to be, sorry, not refits, six uh, manufacturers. So here we have six, uh, six German uh, squadrons from uh, the dead pile. So how do we place these out? Well, they will go out to the so-called Priority Luftwaffe Group. The Priority Luftwaffe Group is the group on the board with the least attached squadrons. So we can see none of them have an attached squadron, so we are going to have a tie. And in case of a tie, it is the group with the highest uh, air combat factor. That's going to be these Focke Wolves. But then we have a, one more tie because all of them have the same aircraft factors, none of them have any attached squadrons, and uh, to solve that tie, it's going to be the group in the lowest number track. So it's going to be this group here. And this is something that the first time you're going to probably have to read the rules to get it, but then it's just going to be automatic. So we just keep doing this, uh, giving squadrons to the highest uh, aircraft factory with the uh, prioritizing the lowest number. So the Focke Wolves have all of theirs. The one BF 109 school is going to get them. And then the BF 1010s in the lowest track numbers. So you see these core areas are going to grow strong quite fast. So that's uh, phase number eight, Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing. And now we come to the German bombing repair which is horrible. Let's see if they manage to repair. We don't want a four or a two. Whew, one and a three. I'm very lucky uh, none of these uh, are uh, repaired. And that, my friends, are the first turn of the game. It's the end of January 1943. I think my guys did pretty good. So, my friends, that means we are now into turn two. And this time we're going to start from phase one instead of from phase number four. So, in phase one, we have uh, Luftwaffe moves the uh, AA. So, we roll 2d6 and we consult our uh, usual Luftwaffe new group placement table and we roll 1 5. 1 5 means that the track is going to go into track number one. And once we've done that, we are going to uh, reinforce the core area. Again, to remind you what that means is that if any of these areas, uh, four to eight, have more than two more units or groups than any of the core areas, you're going to move your strongest group to uh, one of the weakest core areas. So, for example, if these guys would have been over here, that means they would have at least two more than this group. Uh, the strongest group from here uh, would move there. Uh, or actually here, uh, since that was empty. But that's how it works. And you are going to see how it works if you keep watching, because it is going to happen. And then once you've done that, we don't have that situation now, because we don't have any non-core area that is stronger than the core area. Uh, and then you're going to go on to groups. And the groups, again, you are going to see here. Uh, and once again, I am going to go ahead and show you this calendar. I'm not going to do it too often because I have a bunch of counters set up here. But we can see here in February 1904, sorry, 1943, uh, we are just still at submarine campaigns. Uh, we are going to get one manufactured, one refit bomb uh, fighter and one manufactured, one refit bomber. We can see the Luftwaffe are going to get one squadron uh, to all of their groups and two fighters of this type. Uh, I am going to get one squadron to all of my groups and one P-47 uh, group. Uh, well, you can see here the repair and manufacturer is standard is 6 for the Luftwaffe uh, uh, if you haven't bombed any of their factories. So let's get these counters back. 
in again we're in February 1943 so the Luftwaffe are gonna get one squadron to all of their groups so they are becoming quite strong already We are going to run out of these uh, German fighter counters. And again, you guys watching this, just know the rules. Maybe you know them a lot better than me. Just give me a comment if I do some kind of error, because it will happen. This is going to be a several hour long video, and I'm going to do some kind of uh, mistake. It's going to happen. Let me know and let other people know. So if you're watching this to learn, read the comments, because people are going to point out if I do something stupid. Okay, so one squadron to all of their groups, plus two uh, DE520 school groups. So let's find these guys. So here are the school groups, and again, the school groups are, uh, they can be replaced by jet planes later on. We'll see if we go that far into the game. And again, when the Germans get new groups, they also get uh, new squadrons to them attached. So to play these out, you know the deal, I'm sure. We're going to go ahead and roll on the uh, new Luftwaffe group placement, and we roll 4-2. So uh, the first group is going to go on track number, let's see, 4-2, track number 3. Track number 3 is getting dangerous. And I'm going to want to visit that later on, so that's bad for me, bad news for me. And then the next group, we have 6-4. That's going to be track number 8. So that's, that's somewhere we don't want this guy to go. But this game doesn't do what you want it to do, it does what it wants to do. Okay, so that means we are done with phase number one. Uh, did I roll? I think I rolled for AA because you have to do that too. Let's see. Luftwaffe moves AA. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and now it's my turn to get my refit and my manufacturing. So the first refit I, go I do is according to the calendar. So I don't do any refit because I have no damaged uh, troops. But I do get one manufactured fighter squadron and I only have one group so it's gonna go the squadron is gonna go to the P-38 and then I have two manufactured bomber squadrons and here again it becomes more strategical uh, in a way I like because now you have to decide how do you want to divide these do you want to have one really super strong group that can go deep into the Reich or do you want to have several groups so you can perform several missions in each turn? I know what's coming. There are coming some really dangerous missions for me. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and put all of these two on 1B17. Because this early on I want to have one strong group that can deal, uh, deal with stuff without getting killed. Uh, let's see. So that's it for uh, phase number two. And then we have uh, phase three, add and remove bombing campaigns. And again, you're going to check the calendar. Uh, there's not going to be any bombing removed or added. It's, we're still at sub bases. So command doesn't require so much work uh, from me yet. Phase number four is RAF attack. Again, very simple. Roll a D6, hope for a five or a six. And we get a two, unfortunately. And then uh, five, execute missions. So this is interesting because I could bomb one of the areas. For example, I I kind of want to bomb. Let's see, I want to bomb um, in Hamburg for one victory point. That is going to be quite dangerous though because we do have a five plus a three AA factor, and we have a fighter here, so that could get quite dangerous. But I have quite a lot of squadrons here. Uh, I think actually this time I am gonna sit this one out. I'm not gonna do any mission. Uh, 
because I think if I go attack too early on, it's going to be problematic for me next turns, because next turn we're going to get the railroads uh, campaigns, and that's going to be, um, again, get, get, that can be problematic. So we're not going to execute any missions, we are going to score campaign and victory points. So campaign points, it cannot go more than minus two uh, in the sub basis, and it's going to stay there, because... We have no unbombed, remember for each unbombed target it will move one to the right, but we have no unbombed targets, so it's going to stay right there. Uh, victory points, you know the deal, the Germans get one point for all of the unbombed heavy industries, and one victory point if no Berlin target is bombed, so they get 10 victory points. They get no additional victory points since they haven't destroyed or damaged any of my groups. And then we have German retreat, which again is not until August 44, but we have our Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing. It's not going to be any refit since there aren't any damage units. The manufacturing is going to be six since we have six unbombed German aircraft factories. And you remember the deal, I'm sure, with the, with the refit. It's going to go to the prioritized Luftwaffe group. That is going to be the group with the least amount of squadrons attached to it. So let's see, we have some guys here which only have one squadron. And it should be more than six of them. So I think we're going to start with those. Oh, there's actually it was totally it was exactly six of them so that was simple enough okay so then we're actually done with the German uh, refit and the manufacturing we're gonna go to the horrible uh, bombing repair oh drop one of my dice so let's see six six that's nice my sub bases are still bombed and that my friends marks the end of turn number two we now enter March 1943. Saw here quickly that I forgot last turn. Uh, I did give myself one squadron for all my groups, but I did forget the P-47 that should arrive. So I am going to go ahead and add him now. Uh, did not matter since I didn't do a mission anyway. Okay guys, so we start with phase number one, which is Luftwaffe moves their AA, and you know the deal, we roll on the Luftwaffe new group placement, we roll, let's see, 6-3, six, 6-3, three. Uh, six, three. that's gonna be track number 7, ooh, that's bad for us. Oh no, it's okay, I, I know it's gonna be some railroad crossings now. Uh, okay, so next is... Um, Reinforce core area. We're not going to do that because it's not necessary for this turn. And then it's going to be groups. So again, we uh, consult our calendar, and the enemy is going to get a Focke Wolf 190 and one DE 520 school. Let's see. And remember, guys, these uh, these fighters are going to come with squadrons attached. And you line them up from strongest to weakest, and you roll for group placement. First one goes into 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one is track number 5. Oh, no. That's where I'm going to want to attack. And then we have next guy here. 5-5. Five, five. And that's going to be track number 6. So the Germans are getting evenly placed out now. I'm kind of feeling um, feeling threatened. Okay, so that's it for uh, that. Now we go to uh, my uh, refit in manufacturing. So we do the refit first. We consult our calendar. It's going to be one fighter uh, manufacturer, two bomber manufactured. So we take one fighter squadron and we decide which one. I'm going to put it into, I think, let's see. Yeah, I'm putting it into my P-38 and then we have two bomber squadrons being manufactured and I'm gonna put, let's see, both of those under my B-17 
uh, the weaker one. So I have two strong B17 groups here. Again, there's no refit since none of us have any damaged units. And then we consult the calendar this time, we remember to do that. And I see that this time I'm going to get a P47 again. So I grab a P47 and a squadron, a fighter squadron. I'm going to go ahead and sort these guys. So now I have, you see, I'm getting a bigger uh, base here. I have three groups of fighters and three uh, bomber groups. I would like some more bomber groups, but I'm going to have to wait for that. Okay, so that uh, means we uh, add and remove bombing campaigns. And we can see here now in the cal calendar that the SU uh, comes on. Uh, and, and that's going to be, oh sorry, not the SU, that's the submarine bases, the RR, and those are railroads. So we take our bombing campaign tracker counter and put that in zero, which is the start. And then we take all our railroad markers and put them out on the map. So we have Cologne, let's see, where is Cologne? So over here, Frankfurt. See, man, I should uh, study some geography, I guess. There we go. Um, Bifield or Bielef, Bielefeld. So over here, Amiens, Stuttgart, and Aachen. So now all our active bombing targets are placed out. And remember that these targets can also be bombed by normal bombers, which aren't heavy bombers. The heavy bombers can also bomb heavy targets. Okay, so that's it for uh, phase number three. And now we do RAF attack. You remember, come on, five or six, and we get a one. And we go to phase five, which is execute mission. And now I kind of have to do something because there's so many uh, railroad crossings that I kind of have to bomb at least one of them. Uh, let's see what I want to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and send my B-17 groups out against these targets here. And I'm going to go to Stuttgart with one, Aachen with the other one. And I am going to go ahead and send some escorts with them. The question is, yeah, I'm going to have to wait with the other guys and hope that, or should I send them over here instead, I think so. Instead of going to Stuttgart, which is deep and very dangerous, I think I'm going to go ahead and send these guys, the B-17s, to Amiens. And remember, your, fi your fighter squadrons has to be able to reach the interior. Um, and the question is if I want to send some fighters with those guys because the, it's a big chance when they only have one squadron attached, it's a very big chance they're going to get shot down. So I think I'm actually going to send these bombers out on their own. Okay, so let's start with, uh, with Aachen. We will roll on the Luftwaffe Scramble. And again, with the uh, Luftwaffe Scramble, this is uh, we're first time we're, or second time we're hitting the interior. Only a roll of one will uh, none of them uh, scramble. And we roll a two, so that's a pretty good roll. That means half of them are going to scramble. So how do you do that? Okay, you line them up from strongest to weakest, including air, uh, the squadron's air uh, combat factors. And uh, you just take half. If there would have been a third uh, or six, you will go with the first one, the third one, uh, the fifth one the seventh one and so on you will skip every second one line them up from strongest to left uh, to weakest from left uh, to right so this group is going to go ahead and intercept these bombers and now we're going to add some combat factors here so first of all no first of all actually we're going to do fighter combat since i have a p38 group here so we will calculate uh, the combat factor and it's six plus four so it's uh, 10 in combat factor and your fighters are never going to take AA. So just the enemy fighters. We roll for them first and they roll a 1-2. That's actually pretty good for me. 
So uh, a 10 in combat factor and one, that's uh, one red, that means one damage or destroyed. So we go to this list, one damage destroyed and roll the two. So it's one damage, so none of them are destroyed. So for my fighters, one of these guys are gonna go to the damage forces staging area. And then now I get to um, return fire. And since combat is simultaneously, I will also include the combat factor of the one I just uh, removed. So three plus six, that's gonna be uh, nine in combat factor. So not as good as that guy, but hopefully I can roll better. Oh, so I don't, so I roll two six. So we go to this um, page here, two six. So uh, red die, combat factor is gonna be nine. So I'm gonna use this column. So a two is one damage or destroyed. Uh, we go to the one and a green die means one destroyed. So I actually managed to destroy one of the squadrons from this combat group. And it goes into the dead pile Again, the dead pile is over here. So, uh, then it's a uh, turn for my bombers uh, to bomb. And uh, let's see. Basically, we can say that our fighters go back home to base. Uh, and these fighters are gonna go ahead and go to our bombers now. So, you will take the fighters and combine them with the AA of the target and the area. So the area uh, AA is 4, the target air, uh, AA is 1, so that's 5, plus 6, plus 2. So it's going to be 4, 5, uh, 11, 13 in combat factor. And we roll on the combat. Oh, 6, 6. That's a bad roll for me, guys. So uh, let's see. What I say they have in, in, in combat value? I got to see that again. 5, uh, 11, 13. I'm pretty sure five. I hate doing math when people are watching. Uh, let's see. 13. Okay, so it's going to be this uh, column. And six, that's three damage or destroyed. And we go to damage or destroyed. A six again. That means one uh, damaged and two destroyed. So that's horrible for me. I am lucky that I decided to beef this guy up because otherwise they will get some victory points for that. So one goes to destroyed and two of them goes to the dead pile. I'm going to leave them here for now just because I am going to fire back and I, I want to do that easily. Uh, again, remember, um, combat is simultaneously. So I am going to get to fire back. I have a combat value of three, four, five, six. And I roll five, two. That's not good, but it's not horrible. So let's see, my combat value was 6, so it's going to be this uh, track. Uh, 5 with the red one is 1, and we go here. A 2 is uh, with the green one is 1 damaged. So we have successfully managed to damage one of the Luftwaffe forces. That should be over here. Okay, so these guys, again, were uh, dead, and they go to the dead pile. And I have successfully managed to bomb Aken. So I'm going to go ahead and take this counter and put over here. It's a number five. And the Luftwaffe goes back and my B-17 flies back to base. I managed to bomb the target, but I took some heavy damage. So we go to our next mission, which is in track number six. This lone B-17 is going to hit Amiens. Let's roll on the scramble, Luftwaffe scramble, and let's hope for a roll of one. Oh, we roll of five. And I'm going to tell you guys, we don't even have to look at this. Interior five is going to be all of them. So my lone B-17 is facing all of these guys. So let's ca calculate their combat value. Target value one, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13. So 13 in combat result or combat factor. Let's roll 2d6. Ooh, 1 and 1. 13 is 1 damage or destroyed. 
and one damage on your sword, one green dice. It's just one damage. So I did good. These guys did good. And again, one da uh, damage. And we're gonna roll to see now. We get to fire back, and we have a combat value three, four, five, six. So two, one, and uh, that's not gonna do any good. Uh, two, yeah, two, uh, uh, two, uh, red two with uh, six in combat value is a zero. So I don't do any damage to them, but I'm not bothered. These guys return to base and they have successfully bombed Amiens. So I take a random bomb encounter and put over here. And that's the end of execute missions. I have no more missions to execute. We go here and check uh, our face. Um, uh, we have score campaign and victory points. So both of these are bombed, but it cannot go more to the left. We have two bombed targets. So one, two railroads. But then unfortunately we have one, two, three, four unbombed targets. So it goes one, two, three, four times to the right. Remember, if it goes all the way to the eight, it's an automatic defeat because Bomber Command is gonna fire me or, um, or the command of, of, uh, of the allies. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do um, victory points. And again, victory points is gonna be 10 because we have nine unbombed heavy industries. Berlin is unbombed, that's one victory point. It goes from 20 to 30. Uh, these guys are no groups, so if they would have been groups, uh, I, they would get four victory points for each, but they are squadrons, so I'm good, I'm safe. But 10 victory points for Germans, they are starting to rack up. Once they reach 140, I have automatically lost. Uh, no German retreat for this turn, so we go to 8, which is Luftwaffe, Wefit, and Manufacturing. So let's start with the refit. It's gonna be this one because they could do six because they have six oil factories uh, but there's just one unit here so this one is gonna be refitted and the refit goes back the same way as the other to the priority Luftwaffe group the Luftwaffe group with the least amount of attached squadrons and that's this guy because it has no squadrons and then we go through manufacturing and we have six unbombed aircraft factories so it's gonna be six of these counters However, we only have five left, then it's finished, and they can never get more uh, than what's available, so they are going to get a total of five squadrons. And you know the deal, we will attach them to the squadrons with the least amount, uh, <coughs> sorry, the groups with the least amount of squadrons, and these guys only have one squadron attached. See, this guy also have only one, and those are the only ones with ones, and let's see, we have... A couple of ones with two squadrons attached and then again you will take the one with the highest combat factor which is this guy with the lowest number um, track number so it's gonna be these two guys because both of them have six in combat group factor both of them have only two uh, uh, squadrons attached and both of them are in the lowest numbers Okay, so that's it for the Luftwaffe refit in the manufacturing, and then we go to German bombing repair. And this time we don't want, we certainly don't want a four, that would be devastating, but we don't want a two or a five either. Six and two. So two, that's okay. Uh, a six uh, is okay. A five and a four would be horrible because these uh, railroads are hard to bomb. Uh, track number eight is still quite okay. And then, my friends, again, is the end of this turn. We now are going to April 1943, so things are moving along. So, uh, we start the turn as usual and move the German AA. Let's see, 2-6. Two, 2-6 six. Two, six is going to be track number 2. Let's see, where is this guy at? Where did I put that guy? Yeah, here he is. Track number two. And then we have reinforce uh, core areas. And there is no area that's non-core with more than uh, two more groups. So we're still good there. However, we have groups. So we check our calendar. 
and this time the Luftwaffe are gonna get uh, or actually they're gonna lose a group they're gonna lose a BF 109 school let's see BF 109 school let's see do we have any other groups nope we don't so this is gonna be the group that goes and again to see if it's a group leaving it's gonna be a group uh, in, in uh, with the, I don't know how to say that in English with this kind of mark uh, it has two squadrons attached so we are gonna go ahead and place those out Let's see and again it's gonna be the priority Luftwaffe group and it's gonna be these guys and that's it we go now to the uh, uh, United States Army Air Force refit and manufacturing see again we are one uh, one fighter refit and two bombers refit and the same with manufacturing so we get the refit we get these guys back and manufacturing we get one fighter two bombers let's see how we want to go ahead and divide those I think I want to have a stronger P-47 group and I think I want to beef up let's see I really want to beef up um, this guy but uh, I think I am gonna lose him perhaps or I'm gonna lose the game if I don't beef up both of them because I kind of feel like I have the bomb too railways um, rail crossings maybe I could do one so one has two squadrons attached and the other one has four so I could kind of take one to the less dangerous target and then if we check the calendar uh, I am also gonna lose my p38 so it's this guy I put him back in the were in the stack of my different guys and I have two squadrons here i'm gonna go ahead and put them on my uh, p47 so i have two pretty strong p47 groups and that's it for uh for our usa groups and refit and manufacturing and we go to add and remove bombing campaigns but it's uh, it's the same so we don't have to bother uh, but we get raf attacks so let's again hope we're all five to six come on is that a six yes it's a six so that's cool so of course i'm gonna go ahead and bomb berlin because that's gonna stop them from getting the one extra vp for having an unbombed uh, location and it's a four again look i have three fours out now so if the if they get a four on the repair i'm gonna cry but that's fun to see raf doing uh, doing some help and now we get to execute mission again and now we really have to think what we want to do because the railway crossings are starting to be a problem for me but we have a strong enemy presence here uh, the other railway crossings are let's see one here and I think there's one here too which one am I missing let's see that's one two yeah there's one here and they have a strong presence here as well it's kind of hard to um, to decide where I want to go but hmm, I think I'm gonna risk it perhaps by going into this this track and um, doing some heavy damage because there, there's just these guys seems to be too much guys so I am gonna go ahead and do something risky this time I'm sending my b17 uh, let's see and my other B17 so I want to start with my strongest group uh, going into the interior and this strongest group is going to be escorted by two fight squadrons seven it's a 10 combat that should be okay I'm guessing Ooh. okay so that's that's I'm thinking if I should send my strongest group perhaps instead yeah I think I'm gonna do it that way 
Or should I? Man, I can't pick up my mind. Which B17 group to send to the deep? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go to Frankfurt because I just feel like that's gonna be a horrible mistake. I'm just gonna go to Cologne and I'm sending both of my uh, P47 squadrons uh, with the lone B17 squadron to attack Cologne. Okay, so let's roll for scramble. Let's hope for a roll of one. <laughs> we had a roll of four. And in the interior, a roll of four is all, unfortunately. So all of these guys are gonna go ahead and attack. So this is gonna be quite a dangerous uh, interception. I like to line them up like this to quickly be able to decide your combat value. So the Luftwaffe has 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22 in combat factor. So that's quite high. Let's roll. 4, 6. That's bad, bad news. How many did I say they had in combat factor? 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, 20, 22. Okay, 22, and I roll uh, 4. So that's 4, uh, sorry, I'm going to have to focus here. 22, 4, that's 4 damaged or destroyed. And then they rolled 6, so that's 1 damage, 3 destroyed of my, uh, of my fighters, that is. So, let's see, I'm going to divide them 1 damage and 3 destroyed. So I'm going to take all of them from him. So those are destroyed. This one is damaged. However, before I um, remove them, I am going to get to fire back. And I have a combat value of 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So I also have a combat factor of 22. And I roll badly though. So 22. Uh, 2 2, that's 3 damage or destroyed. Uh, let's see, 22, 3 damage or destroyed, and a 2 again, so that's 2 damaged, 1 destroyed. So 2 damaged, 1 destroyed. And you remove uh, the squadrons from the weakest, um, weakest group, including the squadrons. So these are going to be the weakest. Uh, you will choose. Um, the school is stronger because it's a school, basically, so you prioritize those down. So the first uh, one is going to be taken from that one, next one is from that one, and then the third one from that one. And you're always going to take squadrons before you start taking groups. So remember, guys, two of them are damaged and one of them are destroyed. Destroyed one goes into the dead pile. I had three damaged and... One destroyed. Destroyed goes into the dead pile. So my fighters return back home. And now it's time for my bombers. And the bombers are going to go ahead and go against all of these guys that remains. The surviving squadrons. And the AA factor of the area and the target. So 1, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 17, 18. So the Germans have an 18 in combat factor and they roll 6, 6. So 18 is going to be this column. 6 is going to be 5 destroyed or damaged. And 6 is going to be 2 destroyed, sorry, 2 damaged, 3 destroyed. Wow. And that means one of my... It actually gets damaged this. So what I say, six, two damaged, three destroyed. So these are uh, damaged and these are destroyed. And then I get to fire back at least. And I have a combat factor of seven. And I get six, two. But with seven, let's see actually one destroyed perhaps. Uh, one with... Uh, with my seven combat factor and then six so that's one destroyed so i destroy let's see it's gonna be this one 
goes into the dead pile. And that means I do survive, so I manage to bomb Cologne, but at a heavy, heavy price. And these guys go back. These squadrons are destroyed, go to the dead pile, and these guys are damaged and go to the refit. Okay, so that's it for our mission. Uh, mission uh, successful, but at a very high price. So we go to score campaign and victory points. So we start with the uh, sub bases. It cannot go more to the left. Uh, we have a bomb target, but then we have an unbomb target, so it goes once to the right. Then with the railroad crossings, we have or railroads, we have three of them bombed, so it goes one, two, three. But then we have three of them unbombed. Let's see, one, two, three. So it goes one, two, three to the right. And then victory points. So the Germans don't get one victory point for no uh, uh, bombed Berlin area. However, they have eight unbombed heavy industry. I have only one bombed. So that's eight victory points. And then they get four additional victory points for my B-17 group, which is, the, is in the damaged forces area. So they get a total of eight plus four. That's 12 victory points. They now have 42 victory points. Man, this is uh, getting horrible. Okay, so uh, that's it. We go now to um, uh, Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing. So the refit, they're gonna refit all of these two. And you know the deal, you know how it works. It goes to the squadron with the least amount of, sorry, the groups with the least amount of squadrons. And then they have six unbombed factories, but there's only two in the dead pile. So two of these are gonna go again to the we did a groups with least amount of squadrons attached and it's these guys Voila uh, And that takes care of that and that goes again to the horrible German repair Let's hope for really not a four or a five. It's a four or five. I'm gonna cry. Oh No, it's four So we lose this one is repaired And this one is repaired and this one is repaired. It could have been a four and a five. So I shouldn't cry, but I'm still a little bit sad. And that my friends, take care of April 1943. We are now in May 1943. You know what we start with? We always start with moving the AA. And we roll, let's see, one five or five one. So it's gonna go, let's see, five one into track number five. Uh, we don't have to reinforce any core area uh, and then we have groups and the Germans are gonna get two BF-109s, two Messerschmitts and remember they should always come with squadrons but there are no squadrons available so they are gonna go ahead and come alone and we are gonna roll on the new group placement we roll 2-2 two, two. that's gonna be track number one The next one also track number one and that's it for the refit and now we go to our refit and now st uh, things are starting to get a little bit better we are gonna get uh, three bomber refits and three bomber manufacturers but still only one fighter so let's start with the fighter one is refitted one is manufactured we're gonna go ahead and put those on let's see I put those on this guy. I want, want one strong group. And three bombers are refitted and manufactured, so we only have two. Let's see. I want to put that here. And then we have three manufactured. We get three more squadrons. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those with my B24. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I changed my mind, I guess. No, I'm gonna keep it like that, not complicate things. 
Okay, so I also get, if you consult the calendar, a B17 and a B26 uh, group. So let's see, B17 and B26. Let's see, B17, B26. And again, they come with their attached squadrons. And you can see here with my B26, this is my first light bomber I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. You can see here that it doesn't have the H indicating that it can't bomb heavy targets. The heavy targets are, the again, the heavy industries, the oil factories, and the airplane factories. So that's it for phase three uh, or phase two. Then we have phase three, which is add or remove bombing campaigns, but we're not gonna have to do that uh, for this turn. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead now and uh, go to phase four, which is RAF attack. Really hope for a roll of five to six. Come on. Yes. Thank you, RAF. I love you guys. And we take a bomber counter. It's five. Oh man, there's a lot of fives now. And we bomb Berlin. And that leads us to phase five execute mission. Let's see. Of course, we're going to go through Amiens. That's, uh, that's a target we need to hit badly. Uh... I don't know about these sub bases. Feels like I should wait. Uh, send in my B24 against Amiens together with my P47s. And then this one I'm gonna send my. Should I send my B17 group there? It's he's all he only has three squadrons attached. These guys have a five in combat. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so these guys are attacking Amiens. And these guys are attacking West. I start, I think I'm gonna have to start hitting industries soon, but my forces aren't that strong yet. Okay, so let's start with this attack. It's attack in the interior. We are gonna go ahead and roll on the Luftwaffe group scramble table and hope for a low number. And we roll a one. You see that? I'm not cheating. And we roll a one. Uh, interior, that means, whoops. Interior, that means none of these guys scramble. So that means my bombers are going alone at the target. The target has an AA value of one. The area has an AA value of four. That's five in, a, in the combat factor. And they roll three, two. Let's see if they actually do something bad to me. Uh, let's see, three, two, nope, that's zero. So, uh, successfully bombed without taking any damage. I kind of felt like I needed to have that one lucky, one lucky strike. And these guys go back to base. So I should have sent my f fighters with these guys. Okay, so we'll roll on the Luftwaffe scramble again, and we hope for a roll of uh, one or two, since it's in the coastline. Um, we only need a one or a two for them not to scramble. Come on, one or a two. Yes, it's a one. So again, that means uh, they don't scramble. They let me bomb Brest, but we still have to take the AA. So it's AA of one plus one, that's two. Ooh, five, six, five, that's actually pretty good. So with a, um, let's see here, uh, red die was five with a combat value of two. That's one damage or one destroyed. And then one, a six, that's actually one destroyed. Lucky strike for the AA. So one of my B-17 goes to the dead pile. These guys return home gloriously, having a uh, damaged west. And we put the damage marker here, and we're happy. Okay, so score camp. We're done with our mission. Score campaign and victory points. We score one uh, because one bomb target, but then it goes to the right because we have one on bomb target. With our railroads, we actually have one, two, three now. Uh, bombed railroads, I believe. One, two, three unbombed. So one, two, three, and then it goes back. One, two, three. Uh, and now we go to victory points. So the Germans get uh, a total of eight victory points since they have eight unbombed industries. 
one bomb and Berlin is bombed so they don't get that one additional victory point there's no damage or destroyed uh, groups in this area or the dead pile so eight victory points they go from 42 to 50 50 victory point guys they are racking up victory points but uh, I think I can do this I just need to um, just need to gather some more heavy groups here so that leads us to a uh, Luftwaffe refit in the manufacturing and nothing is going to happen there because they have no units in the dead pile and no units over here. And that leads us to German bombing repair. <sighs> really don't want to get a 5 now. I shouldn't have said that. Ooh, 1 and a 2. So this is repaired. But that's it. That's the only one that's repaired. That's nice for me. And that, my friends, is the end of May 1943. We go now to summer, June 1943, and we are going to get a new bombing campaign. Okay, so we start with the Luftwaffe move AA. And we roll 1-4. 1-4 is going to be track number 1. Let's see. And then, uh, let's see if we want to reinforce any of the core areas. Nope, there's not more than 2... It should be free in any of the non-core areas to reinforce that area. And we go to groups. So in June 1943, the Germans are going to get two more Messerschmitts, two more BF 109s. And we'll roll, we'll roll on the new group placement. There's no uh, squadrons to attach to them. 1-1, one, one, so that's going to be track number one. So that's track number four. And 1-3. That's again going to be track number one. So a lot of enemies in this one. Uh, they don't have many squadrons attached. So I could swipe in there and use, uh, kill those guys. But maybe that's going to be difficult. Okay. So we go to my favorite phase. Which is uh, US uh, refit and manufacturing. And I'm still at one fight refit manufacturer. And one, uh, sorry, three bombers refit and manufacturers. So one fighter is refit and one is manufactured. We go ahead and put these guys under my P47. And then the bombers, uh, three are refit, but I don't have any damage. But three are manufactured, so I get three more. I'm going to go ahead and put those under my B17 here. And then, let's see, I have... I also get a B-17, one more B-17 group. There we go. And let's see. Add remove bombing campaign. So, we have a new bombing campaign, which is the RX, and that's river crossings. So, we put our bombing campaign marker here on the start, which is zero. And we take our river crossings, and there's a total of three of them, which it tells us here. So we have lower, we have the upper sign, and we have the lower sign. So we have a lot of campaigns right now, free campaigns, and we have to support those campaigns, or we're going to have some trouble with uh, our command. Uh, so once we've done that, we go to our RAF bombing. Let's hope for a 5 or 6. Come on, guys. Yes, we get another 5. And this time, let's see which area we want to bomb. I want to go ahead and bomb Pilsen here. Which is in the deep territory. And we get a 4. Thank you, RAF. And now we actually go to execute missions. So let's see. I feel like I don't need to bomb the submarine bases very badly. I would like to bomb Amiens, lower sign, and upper sign. So let's send some bombers over there. Let's see, my B-17, B-24s, and let's send some um, fighter groups to um, help those guys out. And then one last B-17 group, or actually I'm going to send a B-26 group uh, because they can bomb non-heavy targets to bomb upper sign. So 
First group is bombing the lower sign. Second group is bombing Amien. Last group, an unescorted group, is bombing the upper sign. It is kind of dangerous. AA value is just five, so that's not too bad. They should be able to survive that with a five. They can, they can, if they get roll a six, they can get two destroyed or damaged. So, well, let's hope for these guys to get. Um, should I wait because? It's not that bad yet, but they are going to get reinforced. Yeah, well, I'm going to play chicken, I guess, and wait. Upper sign, let's see upper sign. But I am going to bomb Amien. Okay, so we start with lower sign, and we roll as usual on the Luftwaffe uh, scramble. Whoops, we roll that. And we roll a free. So that's going to be a scramble. And on the coastal line, a free is half. So you line them up. From strongest to weakest, including their uh, escorts or the squadrons, and it's gonna be there. They have the same value, so they are gonna go ahead and go up against my fighters of this first group. Uh, let's see. So they have a combat value of five against my fighters, and a roll four free. So or three four. Uh, let's see, combat value of five. Uh, so free that means no damage no destroyed I have a combat value of 13 so 5 7 9 uh, 11 13 narrow pretty badly 13 uh, a 1 is actually a 1 uh, because it's such a high combat factor uh, and a 6 is 1 destroyed so I actually destroy one of these guys and it goes to the dead pile so the fighting is done. My fighters return to base and they now attack my bombers instead. And you combine the AA from the area and the target. So two plus one, that's three, four, five, six. Now they have combat value of six. And they're all pretty good, four, six. Uh, so it's gonna be one. And a six is one destroyed. So they destroy one of my squadrons. And I get to fire back though. I have one, two, three, four, seven in combat value. And one one, so that's gonna be none. Uh, one damaged. And these guys return to base. I have successfully managed to destroy or bomb the lower sail. And it's a free. So next group is the my B24s going against the Amiens. Let's hope they don't scramble. And a roll of six, so that means all of them are gonna go ahead and scramble. So first we do the fighter versus fighter combat. And they have a combat value of six. Seven, eight. And they roll three, two. And we had a scum six, seven, eight. Okay. So with a three, that's one damage or destroyed. And with a one, that's two, that's one uh, damaged. So this is going to go to the damage, but I am going to do combat first. I have a combat value of nine. Six, six. That's a good one. Nine, that's two damage or destroyed. And two with a six, that's two destroyed. So let's see. These are destroyed. And from mine, one is, da one is damaged. And my fighters return to base. And now it's turn for these guys to fight it out. So uh, let's see. The AA value is one, five seven six eight eight against my bombers oh six three that's not very good let's see eight uh six that's two damage or destroyed and then a three one damaged one destroyed and then i get to fire back as you know i have a combat value of three four five six seven 
and it's a 6-4, so that's a pretty good roll. 6, that's 2 damage or destroyed, and a 4. Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong charts. 4, that's 1 damage, 1 destroyed. So let's see, this one is going to be uh, um, destroyed. And then one of them are going to get damaged, and it's going to be this one. And it goes back over here. And that means, again, I have one... I had one damage, one destroyed. And uh, my guys return to base. And Amiens is successfully bombed. And there we go. That's the end of phase five, execute mission. Now we're going to go ahead and score a campaign and victory points. So let's see with the campaigns. With the sub base, it goes one left and one right. With the railroads, I have one, two, three bond. So it goes one, two, three uh, for the bomb ones. And then I have one, two, three unbombed. So it goes back one, two, three to the right. With the river crossings, I have one bomb. So it goes one to the left. But then I have two unbombed. So it goes two to the right. And that's it. Let's check our victory points. I have no damaged or destroyed groups, so no victory points for the Germans there. Berlin is bombed, so they're not going to get a victory point for that. But they have, I think, should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven unbombed heavy industries, because I have two bombed ones. So they're going to get seven victory points, so they go to 57. So we are starting to limit their victory point gain, but it's feeling like they are gaining a lot on us so let's see now uh, we have our Luftwaffe refit so you know the deal they have six refits but there is only one available so that's the one we're gonna go ahead and take back and we go ahead and just roll to see where to place this guy we roll for free so for free is gonna be uh, row four And then uh, there's no, we have our manufacturer, and there are now four actually here in the dev pile. So those are going to be manufactured. You know the deal with the priority Luftwaffe groups, the highest combat factor with um, no um, attached quadrants. So these Messerschmitts are all going to get reinforced. And that takes care of that. And that means we now go to my least favorite step, which is the German repair. Four and five, and I remember I didn't want number five. Oh, so we have these areas unbombed, and then these areas. That's very bad news for me. So these are all repaired, and that means that's more than half of my bombed places. They're repaired by the Germans, unfortunately. And that, my friends, is the end of June 1943. We now go to July 1943. So we start with the Luftwaffe AA as usual. And we roll 1 6 or 6 1. 6 1 is going to go into track number 7. There we go. And let's see if we want to reinforce any of the core areas. Nope, we don't have to do that. And then we have our groups. So the Germans are going to get two more Messerschmitt planes, two BF 109s. And unfortunately for them, there are no squadrons available, so they're not going to get any squadrons attached. So we roll 2 2. And 2 2 is going to be track number one. Wow, track number one is going to be very difficult for me later on. And then we're all. 1-5, 1-5 is, yet again, is going to be track number 1. If we look at our Luftwaffe new group here, we can see that whenever you roll a uh, green 1, it doesn't matter what you roll with your red 1, because it's always going to be track 1. So track 1 is going to be where we're going to place most of our units or new Luftwaffe groups. And you know we have Berlin in track number one, so that makes sense. Uh, we are going to have a lot of problem with targets in Berlin later on, but again, that makes sense. 
Okay, so we placed our, out our new groups for uh, for the Germans, and now it's my turn to get some new stuff. So we start with the uh, with the groups or the refit. Let's start with the refit and stuff. Uh, let's see, we are still at one refit uh, and manufacture of a fighter and three for bombers. So let's start with our fighters. One is refit, one is manufactured. See our fighter groups. I am gonna gonna go ahead and uh, beef this P forty seven group up. Uh, let's see, and then I have my bombers. I have three refits. I only have two, and three manufacture. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this B twenty four. Put at least three under him. So now he has a total of. Five squadrons attached. See, I have a B-17 here. He's also going to get one more. And then I'm going to place one on one of my B-17s. Or actually, I could give him... Uh, I could give him one from each of these. So then I have three heavy bombers with um, four squadrons attached each. So I could use those to some, do some good. Okay, so then we go to add and remove bombing campaigns. We have no new uh, or remove bombing campaigns in July uh, 43. Uh, so we go to RAF attack. And again, we really hope for a 5 or 6. Oh, we get a 2, but that's what happens sometimes. And we go to execute mission. Let's see what we want to do. We want to bomb in this and this area. Definitely, since you see, there's not a lot of defenses. So... The most defenses we have is over here because I really want to go ahead and bomb Aachen or however you pronounce that. Uh, these areas are a little bit dangerous, but actually maybe there's, yeah, there's actually less, it's a core area and there's less enemy units there. So I think actually I'm going to go ahead and bomb this area and I'm going to send my B-24s together with my P-47s into this area. And then I'm going to go ahead and bomb here. Uh, B-17 group and I'm also gonna go ahead and bomb over here and I think those are the guys that's gonna get my uh, my fighters since there's more, fight, more fighters over here squadrons attached and these guys are just gonna go ahead and chill out uh, let's see here okay so this is gonna be my target would actually be nice to bomb that Let's see, uh, my railroads kind of need to bomb that um, to not go uh, too far behind, but it would be neat if I could bomb that as well. Let's see, but well, I want to get my river crossings and stuff to a safe place. And these are a good target to attack now since they aren't really heavily defended. They do have the AA track there, so that's not nice, but it is what it is. So I think that's the way I'm going to play it, guys. So we'll start with this area. We roll for Luftwaffe Scramble. We are going against a target in uh, the middle, which is called Interior. And we roll for Luftwaffe Scramble. And a roll of four. And in the Interior, on a four of, uh, roll of four, all of them are scrambling. So these are going to go against my fighters. They have a total value of 12 against my fighters which have a total value of let's see 8 13 so let's start rolling for the enemy which has a 12 in AA value or combat value they roll a full one that's not very good let's see what I say they have 12 so that's gonna be this row and a roll of 4 is 2 damage 2 destroyed and a roll of uh, Sorry, that's four, that's two damage or destroyed. And a roll of one, that means two damage. So two of my uh, fighter squadrons are damaged. And then I get to fire back and I have a value of four, eight, 13. And I roll one three, that's horribly bad. That's one damage or destroyed. And the three is one damage. So I only managed to damage one of their 
guys and they managed to damage two of mine okay so my fighters fly back to base and my bombers are gonna go ahead and bomb but first we're gonna see if they take me down so we have an AA value of 1 plus 6 that's 7 7 8 9 sorry 7 uh, 8 9 10 11 17 so they have a good combat value there 17 4 5 17 uh, combat value is gonna be this row 4 that's 3 damage or destroyed and then 5 uh, that's 1 damage 2 destroyed so these are going into the uh, damaged and these are going to the destroyed or was it the other way yeah these are destroyed damaged uh, yeah there we go and then I am going to get to fire back 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 whoops 5, 5 2 damaged or destroyed and then a 5 one damaged, one destroyed. So this one goes into the damaged, and this one goes into destroyed. And this one goes to the damaged, and these to the destroyed. And that means I've successfully managed to bomb Bielefeld since my bombers did survive. And we have a bomb encounter number three. And they fly back to base. Okay, so we go to the next area. Where these guys are gonna go ahead. Let's see, I'm gonna place this out so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. These guys are gonna go ahead and bomb upper uh, sign, and we will roll. It's in the interior, so we will roll for Luftwaffe scramble. And we roll a five, so all of them are gonna scramble, and they're gonna go ahead uh, head to head with my uh, bombers. I don't have any escort here, so the AA value is gonna be one, five, six. They roll a 1-1 one, one, and I can tell you right now that that's going to be um, no damage, no destroyed. But I do get to fire back before we end up and we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in combat value. 4, 1, 7. So that's going to be 1 damage, 1 destroyed. 1, let's see, 1 damage. So this guy is going into the damage area. And that means we have successfully bombed the river crossing and we have a bomb encounter of three so these guys return to base they did a good job they didn't even take any damage in next area we would roll for scramble it's gonna again be the interior so only not scrambling on a roll of one but a roll of five so all of them are gonna go ahead and fight it out with my fighters Remember, fighters don't take AA damage. So they have a combat value of 5. Oh, they roll a good roll, 6, 5. So that's 2 damage or destroyed. And on a 5, that's 1 damage, 1 destroyed. So again, 1 damage, 1 destroyed, but I get too far back before we put them out. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 in combat factor, and I roll 6, 5. Uh, six that's gonna be three damaged or destroyed and a five it's gonna be one damaged um, one destroyed sorry six five on a three let's see what I say uh, ten three damaged or destroyed and then I roll a five so that's one damage two destroyed so these are destroyed they go into the dead pile and this one is damaged that's good because that means my bombers are going to be able to uh, bomb without getting taken out. Okay, so let's see AA here. We have 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 2 here. So it's a total AA value of 6. And 2. So let's see. 2 is nothing. So these guys, again, my bombers are doing good. They take no damage. And that... Real crossing is successfully bombed. Bit of four there. And that, my friends, are the end of the mission phase. We now go to score campaign and victory points. Let's start with sub bases. It goes one left for the bomb target. 
one ride for the unbound target. Railroads, we have one. We actually only have two railroads bombed, I think. That's two. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Where's the one, two, three. Okay, so we have three of them bombed, I think. No. Let's see, that's bombed. Bomb. Two, two bombed. One, two, three unbombed. Where's the fourth one? There's the fourth one. So one, two, three, four unbombed. Okay, so two are bombed. So goes two to the left. And then four are unbombed. So it goes one, two, three, four to the right. So that means for the next turn I have to bomb some or I'm going to be... Uh, it's going to be trouble. And river crossings. One, two river crossings. Are there more? Oh, there's three of them. Okay, so one, two, three are bombed, but none are unbombed. So it stays here at minus two. That's cool. But I need to start bombing those railroads now, or I'm going to run into trouble. Okay, so uh, victory points. Let's see. Again, the Germans are going to score seven, I think. Or No, actually, look here. No, no targets in Berlin is bombed, so that's one victory point. And I haven't any of their heavy industries bombed so that's gonna be nine victory points so they get a total of 10 victory points no so they go now to 67 man I gotta start turning this around I'm starting to panic a little bit okay so, uh, we go to uh, Luftwaffe refit and manufacturing so these guys they have six oil factories so six are um, Six are um, refitted, and first of all, we place these two guys out in the usual way. Then we roll four, 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 four. That's going to be track number four. Whoops. And then next one, six, five. That's going to be track number eight. And then we have um, our squadrons. They go in the in the normal way to the strongest group first, uh, or sorry, with the least amount of squadrons attached first. Then to the strongest one in the lowest number. So it's, the next one is going to go to one of these B BF 109s, which no squadrons attached. The priority Luftwaffe group is called. And then we have manufacturing, and we actually have three. Um, three squadrons here in the dead pile so the next one goes to this guy so again this is the this is something you're gonna learn to do qu quite quickly uh, let's see number four is gonna be this guy so there we go we have quite here we have two open places here which we can attack so that's quite nice uh, German bombing repair guys who we don't want a free now we really don't want a free we get a roll of five and four so we have a four here uh, but we don't have a five so that's cool and that my friends is the end of July 43 we now go to August 1943 August 1943 uh, first step is uh, move our AA and let's see, one four. One four, just the, <laughs> well, let's see, one four, that's gonna be track number four. Yeah, you can remember if it's a green one, it's all, sorry, track number one is always gonna be track number one if the green is a one. So look at this track number one, that's a dangerous place to go, man. Okay, and then we have reinforced core areas. Let's see, we actually are gonna have to do that now. Because here we have only one unit, but in this area we have three, in this area we also have three. So the way we do now is we reinforce that uh, core area. And the rules say if any of the non-core areas have more Luftwaffe groups by at least two, then any of the core, uh, then any of the core area target tracks move the strongest Luftwaffe group from the non-core area, non-core area's strongest target track to the core area's weakest target crap <laughs> track. Move only one group. So it's 
what you have to do is basically you are going to have to go to the rules and you are going to have to learn what all these means. You have the strongest Luftwaffe track, weakest Luftwaffe track, strongest Luftwaffe group, weakest Luftwaffe group and the priority uh, Luftwaffe group. We have been talking about that a little bit, but that's something you are going to have to kind of read a few times uh, to get what that means. But anyway, uh, like I said, we have more than two uh, groups in uh, two of these non-core areas than we have in a core area. So we're going to move um, the strongest Luftwaffe group from uh, the non-core area's strongest target track. And the strongest target track is the target track that contains most Luftwaffe groups, but it's a tie here between those. And in that case, it's the highest numbered uh, of the tied tracks, which is track number eight, because this is track number four. So we're going to take uh, a group here from track uh, number eight. And of course, the group we're going to take is uh, the strongest Luftwaffe group. And that's with the highest um, combat factor. And these two groups have a combat factor of five. And I always prioritize school groups. And I think it says somewhere in the rules that you should prioritize the school groups. And then you shall take that group and place in the weakest target track of the core area. And weakest target track is easy. Weakest target track is the tr uh, track with the lowest number of groups. We only have one group here. Here we have three groups and over here we have uh, seven groups. So of course this is going to be the track where we place those. And now we come to groups and we consult our calendar. And this time it's going to be a BF-109 school and a BF-1010. And you place them from strongest to weakest, from left to right. And you roll on the new Luftwaffe group placement. We roll 4-4. Four, four. So that's going to go to track number 4. Sorry, that's <laughs> placed the wrong one. And then we roll for the next one. And we roll uh, five three, so that's going to be track number five. And again, uh, you would put uh, squadrons with them if you have squadrons in your dead pile, uh, or um, I think also in the damage forces. But we don't, so they come without. Okay, so that's uh, that's for them. Now it's our turn, and it's August nine hundred forty three. We still only have one refit and one manufacturer of our fighters. We start with the refit and then with the manufacturer. We have two more squadrons. And I'm going to go ahead and attach those to this guy. And then with our bombers, we have three bombers refit, but we only have one damaged. And three manufacturers. So we have a total of four new to blaze out. And I'm going to go ahead and beef up this B24 group. And this B-17 is going to get an additional one. And let's see, we also get, in August 1943, we also get a B-26. And let's see, the B-26 are the weak bombers, which don't really have any cool stuff. And they get a squadron attached to them. You always, always uh, get attached squadrons when you get new groups, as long as you have them available in the dead pile. And that's it. Add remove bombing campaigns. There's no new bombing campaigns. Uh, RAF attack. Again, Oprah 5 or 6. Yes, thank you very much. There is something that's going to change here. I just want to give you a note about that. We can see that in the RAF attacks. Uh, in 944, they are, if you roll uh, a 6, they're actually going to bomb a place you have bombed. In a 45, that's on a roll of 5 to 6. That's very strong because then a target can be bombed twice and it's going to take them two times to repair that target. Anyway, this time uh, we are still in 43, so it's going to be one of these random bomber counters. And we are going to go ahead and place them on a heavy industry of our choice. We choose Berlin for obvious reasons. And that leads us to execute mission once again. And let's see what I want to do. I definitely want to go attack Lore again, I think. I 
think. Uh, it's still some, it's, it kind of feels like, oh, it's so safe, but they still have AA. So you shouldn't feel like you're invincible, but I'm sending my B-17 group over there. I feel like I need to bomb uh, one of these um, railways. Let's see if I have a good one I can bomb because there's so many starting to get a lot of groups here. My B-17 here are going to bomb Osnabrück. Uh, let's see, we have Bielfield there. Let's see, we have one, two. I want to have at least three of these railroads bombed. The railroads are going to go away quite late, I see. Somewhere here in, uh, actually here in, um, the last one is going to be September 44. So you're going to have to keep those bombed for a long time. June uh, 44, the river crossings are removed. Uh, man, there's so many bad guys over here. And there's no river crossing here. So I'm going to take that one. And then how many do I have bombed? No, I already have one bomb there, so I'm kind of going to have to choose between these two tracks. And I think this might be the one, most deadly one. I see 6 combat, 12, 18, uh, 24, 25, 5, 10, 16... That's it, no, wait. 10, 16, 22. Okay, so this is, this have deadly fighters, but this has less AA. So the question is, where I wanna go? Hmm, not, not an easy choice. I am gonna go ahead and go into this area and I'm gonna go ahead and bomb Aken. And with my B-24s, I'm going to bomb Stuttgart. And I can only send fighters to Aachen. Because Aachen is in the interior where my P-47s can reach. But my B-24s, they can, of course, they can reach Stuttgart. But none of my escorts can reach the deep side of the right yet. So I'm going to have to do it like that. Let's see, that's, are there any more targets I can bomb here? Nope, they're not. At least we don't have the AA counter there right now. Uh, I could go ahead and bomb this area, I guess. I should survive. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I need to start limiting their victory points, it feels like. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that group and bomb Usnabok. So we start rolling now for Luftwaffe Scramble and we start here. We really hope for a roll of one to two. Come on, please. It's a five. And in the coastal region of five means all of them are gonna scramble. So this is gonna be tough for my poor, um, poor bombers. Okay, so let's roll for them. They have AA value of three. Seven, oh man, seven, um, nine, fifteen, uh, nineteen, twenty. So a twenty in combat value. Oh yes, one five. So twenty is gonna be this one. It's one uh, and five. That's one destroyed. Oh man, that's lucky. And then I roll for my guys are shooting back at these guys. They have a combat value of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I roll 5, 3, so 7. A 5 is going to be 2. And a 3 is going to be 1 damage, 1 destroyed. So these guys are 1 damaged, 1 destroyed. Doesn't matter because they're going to be refit right away back. And this goes back. And we draw a random bombing counter here for that industry and it's a five and my guy goes back and I believe one was damaged I believe 
doesn't matter either if it's damaged or destroyed actually but I, I believe he was damaged correct me if I'm wrong and then we have let's see this area let's start with that because it's simpler and the AA value is gonna be f 3 plus 1 so that's 4 and I roll a 2 4 and with a 4 and a 2 that's 0 so the river crossing I managed to bomb it without any casualties, and it's gonna be a six. And my B-17s return to base. And now it's gonna be interesting to see in Aken, we, they will all not scramble on a roll of one. And a roll of three, so I can tell you right now that's gonna be half of them, because in the interior, three is half. So you remember how we did, we lined them up from left to right, strongest, including um including their um squadrons from left to right and half you take every second one the second one so the first one and then the third one the fifth and so on so these guys are scrambling against my fighters here so they have a combat value of six uh, 12 13. And they're all 3, 6. See, 13. 3, that's 2 damaged or destroyed. And uh, 6. Uh, let's see, 6. No. Uh, oh, good man, I gotta look at it again. So, let's see. 6, 12, 13. 13, and we're all 3. That's 2 damaged or destroyed. And on the 2, a roll of 6 means 2 destroyed. So I lose two of my squadrons. And they are destroyed indeed. And then we look here, I get to fire back. We have a combat value of 10, 14, 16, 18, 20. And our old free two, that's not very good. 20 is gonna be this one. A three means three damage or destroyed. And a two means uh, two damaged one destroyed so the counters are gonna go two damage are going here one destroyed are going in the dead pile and my guys got destroyed they're going into the dead pile and my fighters are returning to base and we have to do combat now against my bombers Let's see, my bombers have four attached. That's going to be four combat factor points. Plus three, that's seven. And they have, let's see, the target has one, five, uh, 11, 12. So 12 in combat factor, one, two. That's going to be one damage or destroyed. So one damaged. So one of my bombers get damaged. And then I get to fire back. And I roll 3, 1, and I had a combat factor of, let's see, 3, I forgot already, for, uh, let's see, 7. And I roll 3, so that's 1 damaged or destroyed, and a 1 is 1 damaged. So this guy is going to be damaged. And he goes back, and I had 1. I believe he was damaged. And then uh, 1 Let's see, Aken is bombed. So we draw a counter and put that here and the B-17 go back to base. And then we have a, a mission in the deep of the Reich. Only a roll of one will make them not scramble. And we roll a three and that's gonna be all of them, man. So all of these guys are coming and I have no escort this time. So they are sitting ducks, my B B twenty fours. So the target area is one, seven, uh, eight, nine, fifteen, uh, seventeen, nineteen, twenty five combat factor. Twenty five, one five. That's a good roll. A one is too damaged or destroyed, and a five. See, uh, 22. That's two damaged or destroyed. And 
a 5 is 1 damage, 1 destroyed. So 1 is damage, 1 is destroyed. And then I get to fire back as usual. I have a combat factor of 7. And roll a 1, 2, so that's not good. That means no, no one is damaged, no one is destroyed. So 1 goes to my... Um, uh, my refit uh, area and one is destroyed and put back into the dead pile. I do have some surviving bombers, so that means I have successfully bombed Stuttgart and I randomly pull out a bomb counter and put that on Stuttgart. And my B24 goes back to base victorious. And that goes to score campaign and victory points. So let's start with the sub base. It goes one left, one right. Let's go to our railroads. We have one, two, three, four railroad uh, bombs now. So it goes one, two, three, four bombed. And then unbombed, we have Cologne and Frankfurt. So it goes two times to the right. River crossings, all of them are bombed. It's all the way to the left. Then we go to campaign victory points. Berlin is not unbombed. I have no groups in this area, so no victory points for them for that. The heavy industries, I have Osnabrück bombed and Berlin is bombed. They have nine heavy industries. Two of them are bombed. Nine minus two is seven. So they get seven victory points. They go from 67 to 74. And they're half the way uh, to winning now, so that's a little bit worrying. Uh, we have our Luftwaffe refit. So these guys, they have six unbombed oil factories. I'm gonna have to start bombing now soon. And um, that means seven refits, but I only have four units there. So for the group, we roll on the new group placement. A green one always means track number one. Man, look at track number one, this is crazy. And the, then these guys, you know how to put them out. It's going to be the strongest group. If there is a tie, it's going to be the one in the lowest number uh, track. And it's always going to be the priority left of the group, which is the one with the lowest uh, number of attached groups. So that's done. And then we have our manufacturing. There is two of these in the dead pile. And it's going to be these two guys now which have no squadrons attached and that my friends leads us to German bombing repair I really don't want to tell you what I don't want to have because if I do that that's what's gonna happen no I knew it was gonna be a five okay so it's a five and a six so unfortunately both of our Heavy industries, which we have been so good to bomb, are repaired. And then this one. I don't care so much about that one. Or we're good with our river crossings, but also Stuttgart with the five is repaired. Horrible. And that, my friends, is the end of August 1943. We are entering September 1943. Winter is coming. All right, guys, so we are in September 1943 and we start as we always do. We roll to move the Luftwaffe AA. We roll 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is going to be track number 4. Track number 4. There we go. And we see if we need to reinforce one of the core areas and we indeed do. We need to uh, remove one group from track number four because it has more groups more than two groups more than track number two and just basically what you do you take the strongest group and that's gonna be this group because that has a combat factor of five and you put that in the core group with the least amount of groups or core track so we take that guy and put him over here and then we're done with that and then we go on to our groups we consult our calendar in September 43 we're gonna have a BF 109 and a BF 109 school and you know the deal they should have uh, squadrons attached them but the dead pile is empty 
So all we do now is go ahead and roll to see uh, where to place these guys. And the first guy goes to 3-1. So that's track number two. Whoops. And the second one, 6-3. Oh, sorry, 3-6 actually. And that's track number three. So these core areas keep getting stronger and stronger. And these smaller areas are getting uh, weaker. So that's it. We now go to R, a refit. And we now have for the first time two of each with our fighters. So two refits for our fighters and two manufacturers. So now our fighting strength is getting stronger. And I'm gonna go ahead and see, I wanna... So I have a total of four. This guy has three, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these two, sorry, four, on my P47. And I also have bombers now, and the bombers is still three refits and three manufacturers. So that's a total of six bomber counters. That's a good deal. Let's see where we want to place these guys. See, these guys have three. I want to have at least four squadrons to my bombers to feel safe. Whoops. Then the B24 here. I'm gonna give him two more and then the remaining ones I'm gonna put on my B-17s making them a little bit stronger they have five squadrons each now and these guys are all alone and let's see we are also gonna get a B-24 so that's a heavy bomber and of course he's also gonna get a um, squadron with him and that's it. We go now to add and remove bombing uh, campaigns, but there are no new and no old bombing campaigns, so we're good to go. So we go to our old RAF attack, <clears throat> and you know the deal. We want to roll a 5 or a 6, and roll a 3, unfortunately. Next time, maybe. So that means we go to execute mission. And, well, I'm feeling like I'm gonna have to hit... Uh, the railroads now because I only have two bombed but the railroads in Stuttgart is far away I can't bring any of my escorts and that would be deadly let's see well I have I have my B-17s they could go ahead and hit that together and hopefully they wouldn't destroy more than three and that could be worth it <clears throat> because the, my other choice is going through here and there's just too much stuff in here uh, and let's see Cologne is still in the interior so probably most of those guys are gonna rally and they're gonna kill me and then I'm actually thinking about perhaps going in here and taking care of Hamburg mm. Well, the AA is there, so I'm actually going to sit that one out. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to this area, and I'll be happy with that. Uh, yeah, again, I can't bring any of my other bomber, uh, sorry, fighters, but I am going to go ahead and bring all of the other B-17 bomber groups. So I have four, a total of four B-17 bomber groups here now. And all of them are going to go ahead and head, head to Stuttgart. So, uh, it's in deep territory, we're going to roll on Luftwaffe Group Scramble. And of course, on a 1, um, we can look at this again guys, on a 1, none will scramble, on a 2, half of them, and 3 or more, all of them are going to go ahead and scramble. And a roll of 2, so only half of them are actually going to go ahead and scramble. And again, you know the deal, 
line it up from left to right, take the, uh, the first one, the third one, so on, on half. And it's going to be that one with a combat uh, rating of 12. And we have 12, 18 with the area, 19 with the Stuttgart Rail Road. So let's roll for the Germans first. 19 in uh, combat factor and they're all pretty good. 4, 5. So 4, that's going to be 3 units damage or destroyed. Uh, and 5, that's going to be 1 unit uh, damaged, 2 units destroyed. So we'll take from this guy 2 units to uh, destroy and then from this guy 1 unit uh, damaged. But then I actually get to fire back and you can see here with this uh, very nice big group I can do some damage. So let's see, we have 3, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21 combat factor. So that's a pretty good deal. 21. And are all free, free, free. That's not very good. 21, free, that's going to be uh, free units damaged or um, destroyed. And then I roll three on my free roll. That's going to be two units damaged, one destroyed. So out of these guys, two units goes to damaged and one goes to destroyed. And we have successfully bombed Stuttgart. Go ahead and draw our random bomb counter. And it's a number one on Stuttgart. And see, these were, I believe, one unit damaged and two units destroyed I believe it was man I always forget and these guys return to base I go ahead and sort them up together with type of bomber there we go and that's the end of it so we go now uh, to score campaign and victory points so let's see sub bases one bombed one unbombed railroad crossings uh, or railroads, sorry. I have one, two, three bombed. So one, two, three bombed. And then I have three unbombed. One, two, three. River crossings, I have one, two bombed. Uh, and then I have one unbombed. So it goes to, from minus two to minus one. Because uh, lower river crossing isn't, um, isn't bombed. Uh, and then we go to campaign points. So let's see about the Germans. That's one point for Berlin not being bombed and then I think all of the heavy industries are unbombed. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so they are gonna get 10 victory points, guys. They are now up to 84 points. So it's, I'm feeling like I'm gonna have to start bombing some heavy industries very soon or I'm gonna uh, have a lot of trouble. So we go to Luftwaffe refit and we only have two damaged uh, guys over here and you know the deal they will go uh, to the ones with the least amount of squadrons attached and we have several of those. It's going to start going with the ones with the highest combat value and that's going to be, let's see, I don't so I don't miss anyone. These guys. Again, like I said, it's going to be a long video. I will probably do some mistakes. If I do, go ahead and comment and let other people know. Go to manufacturing. We only have one counter. Uh, let's see. Do we have anyone that doesn't have a squadron? Yes, we do. The B of 109 school. And there we go. That's the end of that step. And we go to German bombing repair. Hopefully, we don't roll a free now. That would be devastating. Whew. One and four, let's see, one and four. So we have a four and we have a one. So that was not very good, uh, but it was way better than rolling a three. And that, my friends, is the end of September 43. We are now in October 1943.